Greetings. Welcome to our official YouTube channel, Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to replace error with zero in Power BI Power Query. In this employee table, we have three columns. First column contains employee number of each employee. Second column contains age of each employee. And third column contains the monthly salary of each employee. Each column contains the error values due to various reason. Instead of keeping this error as it is, we will replace these error values with zero for better data analysis. To replace these error values, we will select the employee number column and do right click. We will get the list of options available for this column. From this list of options, we will select the replace errors option to replace the error values. Once we selected the replace errors option, it will show the replace errors window. In this window, we need to enter the value which will replace errors in the selected columns. In value field, enter 0 to replace error with 0. Click OK to confirm the changes we have done so far in this window. Now we can see that in employee number column all error values are replaced with zero. In same way we can also replace the errors in age column and in salary column. But if we do like this it will create three new steps in the right hand side of the applied steps. We don't want to create multiple steps for the same action. So we will select all columns at a time and replace the error with zero. For this we will remove the replaced error step from applied step and select all three columns one by one using control key and select the columns. Select any column and do right click. We got list of options available for these columns. But in this list of options we are not seeing the replace errors option to replace the error values because replace error option is only available when we select single column and do right click. In this scenario we have selected three different columns so replace errors option is not available in this list. Nothing to worry we have another option to replace errors for multiple columns in single step. For that we will go to transform tab select the drop down next to the replace values. It will list out two options. From this we can select replace errors option to replace the error values for multiple columns. Once we selected the replace errors option, it will show the replace errors window. In this window, we need to enter the value which will replace errors in the selected columns. In value field, enter 0 to replace error with 0. Click OK to confirm the changes we have done so far in this window. Now we can see that in all selected columns error values are replaced with 0. 
in right hand side we can see only one step added in applied steps for these multiple changes again in some scenarios we must replace the error values for each column with different values for example in employee number column we need to replace the error values with zero in age column we need to replace the error values with null in salary column we need to replace the error values with blank all these changes should be done in single step to achieve this expand the formula bar we can see the m function code to replace error values for multiple columns we will do little modification in this code for different error values replacement select second column age we will remove zero and type null to replace error values with null select third column salary we will remove zero and type double quotes to replace error values with blank then select tick mark to apply the changes we can see all error values are replaced successfully as per the requirement first column employee number error values are replaced with zero second column age error values are replaced with null third column salary error values are replaced with blank in right hand side we can see only one replaced error step added in applied step in some scenario we need to create a new custom column referring this error contains column in such scenario go to add column tab and select custom column it will open up the custom column window to add a column that is computed from the other columns we will name the new custom column as final salary in custom column formula box begin the m code with equal to operator and use try m function like how excel and the dax language have an if error function power query as its own syntax to test and catch errors double click salary column to select it and type otherwise zero this code will try to evaluate the salary column and will output its value if no errors are found if errors are found in the salary column then the output will be the value defined after the otherwise statement which in this case is the zero click okay now we can see the new custom column named as final salary and in this column all error values are replaced with zero there is also an alternative approach for that we will select this added custom option in custom column formula we can replace this otherwise with catch keyword for using catch keyword we will type catch open parenthesis closing parenthesis and use equal to and greater than symbol with zero which is equivalent to the previous formula 
click OK to confirm the changes we have done so far in this window. There are no changes in the result. Still in new custom column, final salary, the error values are replaced with zero. That's it. These are the simplest ways to replace errors in Power BI Power Query. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions and share your feedback in below comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit our official website petakatechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.